Hey people, how are you all doing? Uh, 12, just the uh, morning is very very early and uh, I was just talking to one of my uh, friends who are also my subscriber, Mr. Sumil Bhatia, I think yeah. So he was telling me like, uh, I think I got his name right, S-U-M-I-L, Sumil Bhatia. So I was just discussing with him a few things, he just, he just messaged me. So he was like saying that, you know, he feels, he was talking about train we, cool water and then Aspen. So yeah, suddenly while I was talking to him, I felt like, you know, I have to do this review. That's how I was inspired. So thanks brother for inspiring me to do this video. There's gonna be Aspen by Koti, one of my favorite. You have seen my top 10 list, the ones I really am using and my favorite. This is one of them. This is one of my favorite fragrances recent time, in recent times, all right? So I have a few things to say about it and I'm gonna put it up also, just compare because many people ask me, how does this one compare to another of his counterpart, the cool water. So things to notice, this cool water actually came out one year earlier than Aspen. Aspen came out in 89, if I got it uh, right message from, like the information, if I got it right from Fragrantica. This one came out 88. So this one has one year over Aspen. Are they similar? Are they different? What are the differences? What is the performance like? I'm gonna discuss all that in this video. So before I start, <clears throat> uh, I'll tell you two things, two other things. That is, I'm having English breakfast tea and no other, just no other English breakfast tea. This is uh, Twinings. The, my sister got me this. She knows I love this so much. So it's English strong breakfast tea, all right? And it says lively and full of flavor, all right? It gets stronger over time. So even this is a morning tea, I'm using this now because it's outside the weather, it's rainy and it was very humid, hot, it was mixed day and I'm getting a little bit disturbance in the voice. So that's the tea. So I hope it helps me. Mm. I'm sorry that I have to do this because no voice, it will help me, my voice to be all right, all right? So the Aspen, I have two bottles, all right? This is my bottle that is a gift from one of my brothers from the community. I tried to pay, he wouldn't take it, he refused it. He just gifted it to me. So thank you, brother. So this 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 review is also dedicated to you, Brother Shahan, my very, very lovable and wonderful Paglavai. <laughs> I call him Paglavai, that means he's like lovely, lovely guy, all right? And I have a backup bottle, that one I bought myself, this other bottle backup that I'm decanting at this moment. So basically the same, I think the the, the the fragrances they're actually same just different batch all right so let me show you the packaging this one actually goes for i think uh more or less 20 dollars and less in states i think maybe less all right and in uk i think it's 12 pounds all right so that's the kind of price you expected to pay in bangladesh but i think i, I was lucky to find it i don't think it's that widely available in bangladesh so if you want a decan you can knock me all right so this is the box, it says Aspen, very beautiful leaf here. I think this rep represents the fragrance very, very well, I'll tell you. It is EDC, I think, cologne spray, and it's a 118 ml, all right? Check that number, 118. I think David of Hot Water also, I have another bottle that is 118, or oh, this 110. So they have this weird numbers. I never see that many fragrances have that kind of mLs, but I don't mind, as long as I get more than 100, I'm happy, all right? And there's uh, your, uh, I think this is the code, but this is not the batch code, this is like scan code, all right? The product code, whatever. So back, it says made in USN, it's by Coty, all right? And this is, I think the 88, no, 89s, 1989s release. So I have my notes here. And also I have, happen to have this arm here, the dry down of uh, Aspen. And this hand I sprayed cool water just to see the dry down. And I'll spray also the top notes, like the, to see the top notes in both hands, all right? So I'm not sure if they have a smaller size of this, but you know, for the bottle, I really love this bottle, all right? It has a very beautiful green bottle. Beauty is in the eye of beholder, but I think my favorite reviewer, Mr. Ma Fragrance Matt, he reviewed this and I love his take on this. This is, his review is spot on. So I'm just gonna try, but I'm not gonna be as good as him. I'm telling you, buddy, you are the best. <laughs> and it says the cologne spray just like the box. And then it has the batch code bottom, all right? The bottom, it's 105. 6, 6 which is not visible in the box so i guess that's how they used to come and then the cap it says aspen on top nice touch nice details moment you open it you can smell it from far this one is in nature like uh, pakuraban puram that kind of a feel if you open pakuraban bottle and you keep it like let's say good two three feet away you can smell it in an air-conditioned room very very strongly you can smell it it has a green atomizer with a sort of copper colored uh, old-fashioned 
as a sprayer, but it sprays really nice. See the sprayer. Oh, yeah, I showered in it on my head and everything. I don't mind catching some of it on my head. Maybe I'll spray some on my head. Yeah, that, that, that does. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cools down my head. This is not cool water, but it does cool me down. So I'm gonna, I guess I'm going to be using this on the rainy night for my scent of the night. Oh, my God, that's so good. It feels like mint. <laughs> Menthol, sorry, not mint. Menthol. It's cooling down my head. Why not I go a little bit more? One, two. I love this stuff so much. It, it's absolutely, you can go bonkers with it. It's not going to choke you down. It's a wonderful fragrance. So for the presentation, the sprayer, the color of the juice, I mean the color of the bottle, 10 out of 10. I love this. Just for the bottle, it gets 10. So you can see, similarity between this and this, they are very similar. This one is the blue bottle. This one's green. The difference is on the opening, let me show you the opening actually go two sprays and go <clears throat> cool water this end all right i love the opening of cool water even though i don't use it that much i used to use a lot of it so now i'm just like uh not very much fond of it because i have a lot of other aquatics to use for summer so this is a uh, cool water in the sand this is aspen so for the opening which one do i prefer I love both. I won't lie. Cool water in this end. Aspen in this end, right? Opening of these are different. This is blue. I know this is becoming turning out to be a comparison video, but people ask me, so I guess it, it's helping them. And this one is a bit more oozy and green and citrusy. This one has citrus, but with a water note. Aquatic, deep water, like sea water, sea breeze, that sort of feel. This one is the oozy feel. So nature, green. Nature, oceanic but it will turn into green and the dry down it will go towards the green side this one starts up green and citrus it will go greener <laughs> all right so let's talk about aspen what do i get okay from fragrantica the notes are i think top notes are bergamot galbanum green notes and lemon mid notes are coriander i think geranium jasmine lavender juniper and orange blossom all right and then base notes are, I think, amber, cedar, oak moss, musk, and balsam. I'll tell you what I get from it. It's very simple scent. It doesn't have so much transition. It's not very complicated scent. This scent is for men. I think I feel this is exclusively for men. This is a powerhouse. Not doesn't have the heaviness of Ted Lapidus or Kuros. No. But this one has that manly feel. This fragrance is also green. Third thing is it's green. And I think this is also outdoors. This is a fragrance for outdoors. And this is best suited for spring and summer winter time you can wear it but not very heavy winter like let's say it's snowing and then you won't smell shit but if it's a little bit uh, irish spring days you know green irish tweet comes to mind right this one has vibes of it i'll talk about it so i'll do a separate review where i'm gonna put git green irish twin this david of cool water as well as train me all the clones and i'm gonna talk in a separate video which one is the best all right so this one how does it open among all the notes i mentioned it has the citrus up top the green pine feel if you know Burberry is the london minus all that leather or uh, the 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 boozy notes and everything minus all that this one has the feel of pine tree and christmas tree fresh christmas tree if you just cut it down in the branches and you can smell that that the liquid that comes out from the tree or the the leaves that's the smell who can use this any age Definitely. And uh, I think this is suited for any age. But the thing is, a little bit more mature men, you they would actually love this. People, many people grew up with this since 88. I mean, so 89. And for them, this was their father's signature scent, their uncle's signature scent, and their signature scent. So those who grew up with it, they would treasure this, all right? Mm, tea is good. Right. Coming back to the review. So how's the transition? It starts off a bit citrusy and green. And on the dry down, it will go greener side. Citrus will wear off. There is definitely some lavender, but the lavender doesn't take center stage. The pine needle, cone, they, they do. This one would be like absolutely beautiful if it's rainy day. And then, you know, you're going to the nature. You're walking in the woods and there's some stones along the way. All right. Small streams, rivers running. You're walking. Imagine like you're walking among the small stream. Water is like this much level only. Like your boots. You're wearing boots. And it's just below your boots and just walking through that water in the nature it rained a little bit you can hear the birds not many people are around maybe one or two people distant 
who are doing camping, minding their business. Yep, you're out, maybe hunting, or you're just going out to pick up slum. You're just going for like, you know, like hiking, your mountain boots, Rocky Mountain woods, that sort of fragrances, but Rocky Mountain is much more heavier with the violets. This one doesn't have the violets. Plain, simple green scent. If you think polo green is too strong with the leather note, this one solves your problem. I suggest, even though it's a cheap cologne, go and sniff this and buy this. If you like green irish tweed, if you like those sort of spring grass, vetiver, you know, like fresh nature after the rain, earthy feel, you will like this. If you like cool water, you definitely gonna like this. This is a step up from cool water. That's why I feel 88 cool water came out, right? And then this one, they maybe noticed cool water. They said, we can do better. They did better. So what is the similarity between this and Green Irish Tweed? On the opening, nothing. This is not even close to Green Irish Tweed. Those who think it's the similarity, the feel rather, it's not similarity. The feel of Green Irish Tweed, that nature, the outdoorsy man, woods, the, the bright day, big breeze, that one comes from the dry down. I think it's, it's, it's that green side of this that reminds people of sometimes of Green Irish Tweed. But the David of Cool Water, let me tell you the differences. The lasting power on this is not as much as cool water. This is reformulated cool water, but still lasts about four or five hours up to. This lasts maybe three hours tops in our condition. I don't know about foreign conditions, right? So this one lasts less than this, all right? Out of the way. But for a dry down, this is way better than this. To my nose, this is my opinion strictly. Don't kill me. I know many people swear by cool water. I also do. I love this fragrance. But I love the top note of this a lot better than the dry down. A dry down here is just a synthetic lavender that kicks in. I'm not a very big fan. Maybe it's the winter time. It smells better to me. We Our winter is more like your spring. Cool country, like uh, European countries. Your spring days are our winter days. That's where I wear this. This one I would wear all year round. All year round, seriously. Summer. Um, it's not very heavy. That's the best thing about this. It's green, masculine, more like your aftershave sort of feel, like aftershave shave splash. All spice, that sort of spicy kick, but at the same time, not heavy. Doesn't have the heavy mask or cedar or leather like polo green. You can wear this easy wear. You can go, I think you should go six sprays with this. As you saw, I did some hair on my hair. That was a bit craziness. I just did it for to show off. You know me. I'm all about the show off. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just kidding. I'm a nice guy. And I mean it. I'm a nice guy. So the thing is, this is for men. If you are growing up with this, I suggest you start your fragrance collection with something like this. For your school, you wear it outside, you wear it everywhere. You grow up with this, you'll before you know, you'll go through six, seven bottles of this because it's so cheap. I don't know if it's available in states or not, but this is yes. For longevity, I'll give this six out of ten. Not very great longevity. Projection, I'll give this seven out of ten. It projects nicely. If there's a little bit of breeze. This fragrance reminds me of one movie, The Ghost and the Darkness, all right? Val Kilmer and Michael Douglas, it's an old movie. They go to the savannah, I think, to kill these two lions, that man-eater lions, and who are eating up and killing the workers, you know, and the bridge completion. Very beautiful movie. Because those men are in the nature, they are those men, call for call of the wild, that sort of men. I would imagine the person who owned this kind of bottle, they would own a Jeep Wrangler. They will wear khakis and a lot of those jackets with a lot of multiple pockets. MacGyver, they would be wearing this. You know the TV series MacGyver in 90s? This is their scent. All right. So for compliments factor, I think this is not very sweet. It doesn't have the sweetness or uh, flirtiness of like Invictus, CH Man, but definitely will draw attention. Ladies will love this. The dry down of this is goes nicer over time. Well, cool water. The dry down is not often favored, but many people like it. My dry down of this, this one takes over this this one so overall i love this i say way better than cool water but i do love cool water top opening very beautiful opening one of the best sparkling blue opening ever but s pen takes it out so for my uh, initial impression or whatever you say not not initial, my overall mark easy i'm gonna give this perfect 10 of 10 this is a hall of famer for me i grade this very very highly if you want to wear this on your Christmas day, feel for feel feel free to wear it. Don't don't stop yourself because this is like a cheap cologne, because the price tag is very cheap. You are blessed. This could easily go for 50, 60 US dollar stops. If you love Pakoraban Puram, look into this. And um, 
what else? Yeah, I mean, when I cannot find anything else, I like dumb reach. This is my dumb reach, not Savage, not Blood Chanel. This is my dumb reach these days. I wear a lot of this. So thanks, Shanmai, once again for this uh, bottle, and thanks, Brother Sumail Vatia, for for the reminder. I just picked it up. I just picked up. I had to do this review. All right. So ten out of ten in my books. Forget about performance. Forget about anything else. This is a man's man scent. This is an outdoorsy scent. If you're going for bonfire or camping or study tour, take this with you. You will bring out, bring back very, very fantastic memories. So that's my review of Aspen by Coty. Salute. This is like an army man. This is like a staple man. This is a man that serves you well. This is your loyal person, loyal buddy. All right. So, yep. Aspen by Coty. Once again, the bottle. Lovely, lovely stuff. I love this stuff. I'm in love with this stuff. All right. So I'll see you soon. I'll talk about some of the fragrances soon. Good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Bye-bye.